The good news is I found my next pencil. After trying two drugstores, I went to Ulta and found it. The bad news is I also got a new palette. Not really bad news. Um, the truth is this, when a couple of months ago we went through, well several months ago, back in the summer, we got all those foundations, those new foundations, and I love a foundation, so it was good for me. But I finally reached my saturation point, as I think we all did. And then I saw Mood Trends palette after palette after palette after palette. And I wrote a list, and I did a video that was, well, nobody watched it. I get it. Um, and this was on my list. But because I was so overwhelmed, I had to kind of separate everything into categories. I am a Virgo, and when I have too much information, I really need to write it down and break everything down into it has this, it has that. Does it do this? No. Can I get more than one look? No. Does it have a color I need? Etc. 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 And you know why I'm attracted to it. Seriously, I'm strange. I don't date like that though. And this one somehow just kind of fell off my list. And I do remember distinctly making a note saying, well, it doesn't have something. I don't remember what it was. But then I had my impulse buy with the Melt Cosmetics Gemini, and those greens didn't work for me at all. And even though I have the Natasha Denona, this green is a bit satin, and I still felt like I didn't have a khaki going. So I went ahead and I bought it. I'm the Hooded Lid, and welcome to my channel. Let's get into it. The watch is off. This is serious watch time. First row and second row. And last row. So there's our color story. This is my first experience with the Juvia's palette, so this will not only be can this color story work for me, but mostly will these shadows work for me, because if the colors work and the shadows don't, it's going back. And the thing I'm dealing with the most, I think, is really the crepiness. A lot of powders just, they don't do well with the crepiness. Some are so smooth they practically blend themselves. Some are just too much work. I am going to start right here. I have some foundation on my lid, but I don't have any primer and I haven't powdered. And I just do it this way because that's pretty much how I do my makeup. So testing it any other way wouldn't make sense to me. And I'm using a light hand. Just a little wash of color. I'm going in with this brown. This is a really interesting brown. It absolutely has a greeny undertone to it, kind of um, sludgy, actually. Not sludgy. What's the word I'm looking for? Okay, I like the color, but the blend isn't as easy as I have experienced with other shadows. A little blending. The color is interesting. It does have a greenish tone to it. It's a brownish green. Kind of maybe like an algae color. But it requires a little bit of work if you have crazy eyes, I think. Same brush, I'm going in with this darker green now. Actually, I shouldn't have gone on with this brush. I should have gone on with a smaller brush, but I guess it is what it is. And this is more like an army green. I 
wow. I'm not very talkative today. <laughs> I might have to find some music to put over this. And back with a blender and just work everything in. And use a soft hand. This just this does require a little more blending. It's not one of those things where you just put it on and it's great. But, I don't know, how many things are? I'm going to go in with this cream color and do the brow area, really using it as, instead of a translucent powder, to just kind of blend everything in that area up. I think that really helped to make the look look finished. Make the look look finished. I think that really helped to make everything look more finished. Uh, so that was good. But I do feel like everything's pulling down because I haven't done my usual bringing out the dark color here. I don't want to bring the darkest color out that way. So I'm going to go back in with that brownish green. Same brush. I wiped it off. I'm just trying to change the look of the eye here. Yeah, I think that's a lot better. I'm going to take a synthetic flat and pick up this yellow, which has the teeniest bit of shimmer in it and do that on the inside. Green and yellow, of course, I just love green and yellow together, who doesn't? Another blend. There, I actually think this is pretty. It took a little more work than I would have liked, and I don't know if it is the powder itself, or it, it could be the colors. I think greens can be very hard to do, but I thought the yellows performed pretty nicely. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of liner. And I feel like it's already falling off on this side, so I'm gonna put a little bit more of that dark green, that khaki green, on that eye. I'm going to take a smaller brush to do that so I can really buff it in and hope that it just embeds in the skin, if that makes sense. And I'll do the same thing on the other eye. The other eye isn't as fading as much, but I do want them to look even. Going back with that yellow, and again, same thing, kind of buffing that in, or pushing it in. And a blender again. Just want to make the segue between those two colors a little nicer. All right, so there's the eyes. I am going to finish up the face and do a little mascara, a little tight lining, and I will be back in a minute. All right, I'm back. I did some blush, some lips, some tight lines, some mascara, and I took a look in a different mirror. And you know what? I really like the overall look of the eyes. Um, I'm not sure about how well this dark green will adhere. It kind of fell off a little bit and I had to go back in. But overall, I'd say the color combination that they put together here really, really works. And I didn't use everything. I used this, 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 and this. So I used almost everything. You could make the whole look more warm by bringing this one into it. 
and these two are more shimmery colors. You could kind of darken everything up by employing those. Uh, I'm just laughing at myself for saying employing eyeshadows. But I, I have to say I, I like the colors that she put together here. I'm assuming this is a woman. Juvia is a woman, right? I like the idea of khaki greens being the new camels. I think they're more interesting and they do more for eye colors than camels can, but it depends. You know, it's about your skin tone, it's about your eye color, it's about your hair color. For me, camels are kind of like, eh, they don't do anything, and I feel like this does something. I think this is a look you can absolutely bring to work. It's not too special, but it's a little special. Uh, it does require a little bit of work. It's not as easy as the Too Faced, for instance, Gingerbread, which really just goes so smoothly over those crepey areas or bumpy areas or iffy areas, but it's still completely workable. I'm going to pull you in so you can get a closer look of what's going on. But there you go. pulling you out. All right, that's going to do it for me today. I want to thank you so much for spending a little time with me. I hope I was able to give you information that will help you make a decision on whether or not this is a palette that will work for you. And I hope you come again. And in the meantime, I'm wishing you a great day.